It's heavy hitter time outside our Beacon Hill studio. Joined as I am every Tuesday by Peter Cadges of the late Boston Phoenix, a man who's deeply saddened by the passing of Margaret Thatcher. Cosmo Macero of O'Neill Associates, a man who's deeply saddened by the passing of Annette Fonicello. Mickey Mouse Club, <laughs> Beach Blanket Bingo, a lot of good times, a lot of good memories. Listen, Margaret Thatcher uh, had a great bit of wisdom. She one time said that if you've run a household, you know all you need to know to run a government. There you go. Annette the, once, that's the end of our Margaret Thatcher tribute, <laughs> and, by the way. And Annette Funicello said, choose your mothers, choose Jeff, I believe it was. Either that or it's, it's hard to beat Skippy. <laughs> also <laughs> words to live by, although you can't remember what product she was I can't remember the, the peanut butter brand, but right. uh, she was... Since you failed on that front, voice. Cosmo, let's see how you do with the mayoral race. It continues to grow the ever-expanding mayoral candidates pool. Felix Arroyo set to announce later today, we are told. The numbers grow. Ross is apparently considering getting in. Steve Murphy later this week may or may not get in. What do you make of all this? Look, I'm not surprised that, that, that everybody under the sun in the city wants to get in this thing. It's a good race to be in. It raises your profile no matter what. You know, the mayor has decidedly said, I, I'm staying out of this, but I got to wonder at some point, is and how is his, will his influence be felt? Rob Consalvo, who's been very close to him, is it felt in that way? You're going to need about a million bucks just to be competitive in this thing. Not everyone is going to meet is going to is going to meet that bar. Um, but I think it's, it's it's actually becoming very interesting with all these people involved in the race. Yeah, I think w w w one thing um, to take note of is. Um, the number of Boston City Councilors who are running, because if they run for mayor, they don't run for re-election. And we've had the best city over the last two, four years. We've had probably one of the best city councils in recent memory. But the council does not have a lot of I'm power. I'm not sure what that means, by the way, the well, best city council. Uh, yeah. They try to be constructive. That's what it means. But they stay out of things. That's the one I like. It, and um, I think they chafe at their inability um, uh, to change things in Boston, or they chafe because Menino gets all the credit for what ideas they come up with. And, and I think that's why so many of them are going into the race. Yeah, I, I actually I agree with Peter. I, th you know, I think the there's a lot of talent on the council. They're uh, in, a, in tune to constituent service, so to speak, within the city. That bodes well for the city. I think uh, the, the group of candidates so far is pretty strong. Plus, you just got to finish second. Then you're in that runoff, and that's True. a win. So, unlike in regular primaries, we're going to go win the thing. Let's go a little closer to home right behind us where last night the House passed their version of the transportation bill. This is the $500 million one, not the $1.9 billion Duval plan. They didn't do it with a veto-proof margin, though, Cosmo. They came up 10 votes short on that. Does that bode ill for this thing in the future, or is it not much of a concern for the speaker? No, I think it is a concern. The governor's drawing a line in the sand. He says, you know what, I'm going to veto this thing. They don't have the margin, so I think he's going to veto it. This is the ultimate rock in a hard place, because without question, we have major infrastructure needs statewide. Yet, how do you ask people to What are those, by the way? You've bought into the Kool-Aid. What is the it's major not, it's infrastructure? Not, it's drive around VBs. It's not, it's not Kool-Aid. Roads. Bridges, public the ones that we fixed for the last pu 10 years. Public transportation. I mean, the, 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 the entire infrastructure needs repair, needs capital investment. But how do you ask people to dig that deep? Well, I think what the, the, the margin bodes is there's room for negotiation here. Um, Paul McMorrow had a very good piece in the Globe today that, that's really influenced my thinking about we need to match our infrastructure investment with what the private sector is invested in terms of development. Now, does that mean we need bike paths? Not necessarily. Um, but it does mean that uh, we probably need more than the House uh, pass, but not as much as the governor asked for. Yeah, but if Delia's only 10 votes short in the preliminary vote, do either of you doubt for a second that he can flip 10 guys if he needs to to overturn a veto? No, I don't I don't doubt necessarily his ability as a politician. So but, then the but, governor but, holds but, no, but, no cards it's, it's, Hold on. You still got to do it. You still got to find those 10. So I think there's a major battle brewing right here for sure. Uh, 